Previously, we studied special angles in quadrant 1. What is the sine of angle 30? The sine of angle 30 is half. What is the cosine of angle 60? The cosine of angle 60 is half. What do you notice? We notice that the sine of angle 30 is equal to the cosine of angle 60. What is the cosine of angle 30? The cosine of angle 30 is root 3 over 2. What is the sine of angle 60? The sine of angle 60 is root 3 over 2. We also notice that the cosine of angle 30 is equal to the sine of angle 60. Generally, we can say, the trig function of any angle is equal to the co-function of its complementary. Let's check that with the angle 45. What is the sine of angle 45? The sine of 45 is root 2 over 2. What is the cosine of angle 45? The cosine of angle 45 is root 2 over 2. So, the trig function of any angle is equal to the co-function of its complementary. Mathematically we can say, the cosine of pi over 2 minus theta is equal to the sine of theta. And the sine of pi over 2 minus theta is equal to the cosine of theta. To sum up, the trig function of any angle is equal to the co-function of its complementary. These identities are called the co-function identities. Next, we will see more trigonometric identities.